if your sampling rate is too low, you may have a problem called aliasing. Let's say we want to convert this wave from analog to digital, and we sample it like this. By connecting the dots, the samples are going to produce this, which looks like a sine wave with a different frequency than the original. That is, the digital wave has a different frequency than the analog wave we tried to measure. When this happens, the original wave cannot be recovered, so we would have to re-record it with a higher sampling rate. Therefore, it is important to avoid this from the beginning. This is a graph showing the frequencies of the original wave and the reconstructed wave. For simplicity, we will say that our sampling rate is 1000 Hz. Ideally, we would want this graph to be a diagonal line, that is, that the reconstructed frequency is always equal to the original frequency. In a certain range, this is going to be fulfilled. Here, it would be from the beginning up to 500 Hz. After that, if we keep increasing the frequency of the original wave, we will start to reconstruct lower frequencies. This means that we are not getting the correct information. After 1000 Hz, the reconstructed frequency starts to rise again, but it is well below the frequency it should have been. An interesting case is when we have an original frequency of 1000 Hz and a sampling frequency of 1000 Hz, which gives us a reconstructed frequency of 0 Hz. When the original frequency and the sampling frequency are equal, we will be taking exactly one sample per cycle. So, we would be reconstructing a horizontal line, which is considered a frequency of 0 Hz. In the case of having an original frequency of 500 Hz and a sampling frequency of 1000 Hz, we would be taking exactly two samples per cycle, which gives us a triangle wave. Although it is true that it is a different waveform than the original, at least it still has the correct frequency. So, with a sampling rate of 1000 Hz, 500 Hz is the maximum frequency that we can sample without aliasing. Another example with this sampling rate is that if we try to sample a 700 Hz wave, we will get a 300 Hz digital wave. This would look like the first visual example I showed. In this region, there is another way in which we can visualize aliasing. It's as if the original frequency reflected around 500 Hz, which here gives us the 300 Hz. We can describe all of this behavior more generally if we replace the frequencies by factors of the sampling frequency. So, we can see that the only range where we can reconstruct the correct frequencies is from 0 Hz to half of our sampling rate. And after that, we have aliasing. This important fact is known as the Nyquist theorem. And the frequency equal to half the sampling frequency is known as the Nyquist frequency, which will be different depending on the sampling frequency.